Normally, you'd find us aboard One Life, sailing, fishing, hiking, and diving. For the past three years, this has been our life, virtually without a break. So for the past couple months, we left our boat behind in Mexico and went to the United States to visit friends and family and enjoy the comforts of land life. We bought a Honda Element in New York, and we are on a road trip all the way across the country back to Mexico. We stopped in Utah to explore some of our country's stunning national parks before getting started on our next big sailing adventure. On our way to Canyonlands National Park this morning. No, I think it's called Candyland. Candy, Candyland. Let's go. Let's go explore Candyland. Uh, no, we kind of decided to visit all five of the national parks in Utah while we are here because we're not sure we'll get the chance to do it again. With each trail we followed, we were greeted with majestic canyons and mesas split by the Colorado and Green Rivers. Over 400,000 people visit here each year, but because of the cold, snowy weather, we had most of the views to ourselves. It is hard to believe only a short few hour drive away is another geological wonderland, Capitol Reef National Park. This park spans over 240,000 acres and offers a path perfect for the Honda to do a bit of dirt roading. This was certainly the most scenic drive on our road trip so far. So we're hiking up now to Panorama Point, and this is the last stop in, where are we? Capitol Reef. <laughs> Before we drive three hours to our cabin for the night, and actually for the next few nights, because we decided to stay in one place for a few nights this time. So here is our little cabin we got to last night. And today we are gonna do park number four, Bryce Canyon. And yeah, we're just getting the car ready, got all our camera gear. We're all bundled up and ready to go. At an elevation of over 9,000 feet, there was a bit more snow than we expected at Bryce Canyon. Most of the trails were closed due to icy conditions, but that didn't stop us from finding a few places to take in the distinctive views of the spires and towers that appear as forest of rock. Seeing them with a bit of snow cover simply added to the beauty. We just arrived into Zion National Park, which is our fifth national park in Utah in six days. <laughs> yeah, we saved the best for last, hopefully. We'll see. Zion is the most visited of the five national parks in Utah, with approximately 4.3 million people visiting annually. We felt extremely fortunate to be visiting in the winter months, allowing us to soak in the stunning surroundings without the distraction of huge crowds. 
Each park was simply awe-inspiring in its own way, and we are so glad we decided to slow down on our journey back to one life to soak in all the beautiful vistas and landscapes Utah has to offer. Today we leave our cabin to head to Arizona. Let's go see the Grand Canyon and get one step closer to one life. We've decided to unpack the toaster and try to reconsolidate because we have more stuff to pick up in Arizona before we cross over the border. arrived at Horseshoe Bend, Arizona, and we decided to pull off and take a look. It's $10, which we think is kind of steep, but we figured we'll probably only be here once. <laughs> get the shot? I think I got the shot. Everyone else is also getting the shot. <laughs> All right, well, we decided to do it. Grand Canyon, here we come. We just uh, waited in line at the park ranger station to check our ID and our national park tag for like 30 minutes but we're here at the first view of the Grand Canyon and I told Gary to keep going to the next viewpoint because there's a lot of people here, but he pulled in anyway. And now he's, <laughs> and now he's turning around. <laughs> and now he sees how many cars are here and he's turning around. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we've seen the Grand Canyon, so now we're gonna leave. <laughs> we've not seen it yeah, yet. Yeah, it's right there. You can see it from the car. It's as good as it's gonna get. Sorry for your luck. Woohoo! We found a parking lot that wasn't full. <laughs> so we finally get to see the Grand Canyon. Let's go. It's pretty spectacular, really. What's happening? <laughs> Well, the traffic has stopped because there's horses in the road. <laughs> um, so we're here in Scottsdale and we're going to do a little consumerism before heading back to One Life tomorrow. So we're going to do Home Depot <laughs> and pick up all the last minute things we need. And then we're meeting our friend John because he has been storing a bunch of boat stuff for us. All right, well, now we are headed over to our friend John's house to pick up more items for One Life. And we don't really know where they're gonna fit, <laughs> but hopefully we can make enough room to bring everything we need down tomorrow. If not, we're gonna have to make another trip. <laughs> We've got all our boxes. And there's barely enough room for a brookie. <laughs> so we're definitely going to have to repack this um, before we cross the border tomorrow. Well, yeah, we've also got all of our stuff in the hotel room to fit in here too. Oh no. Oh yeah. We are just packing up this morning. I gathered all of our invoices from all of our things and I'm going to go down to the front desk 
and get those printed off hopefully. And then we're gonna go try to pack the car. Um, after last night, I'm not sure <laughs> if we'll have room for everything, but Kiri is pretty good at Tetris, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, lovely. It's raining. Poor Gary, but it looks like he got it all in. Holy crap. Wait, you got it all in? Yeah, where else is it gonna go? Oh my goodness, wow. What a mess, in the rain. They're gonna laugh at us when they stop us at the border and we open the doors and just like, oh, stuff just flies out. We're about an hour from the border now. Right, yeah. I hope we get the green light. <laughs> so we've heard that there's a red light, green light system. And apparently you drive up and if you get a green light, you can just keep on going. And if you get a red light, then you pull over and they're able to search your vehicle. <laughs> I was going to Canada. <laughs> Shoot, we're at the wrong border. Hopefully everyone in front of us gets a red light. <laughs> I need the window down. You want them to see you in here? Keep that camera down too. <laughs> All right, here we go, camera down. And sure enough, as soon as we pulled into the first possible checkpoint station, the red light siren sounded. Hola, que lleva la parte trasera. Para nosotros tenemos un bote de vela en Puerto Peñasco y todo es para... A Border Patrol officer then approached our vehicle and started to ask us questions about where we were going and what all the stuff was for. A minute later, he asked us to exit the vehicle so he could take a look inside. The officer and assistant searched through our boxes while we stood anxiously outside the car. We had no idea what to expect, so we were super relieved when the officer told us to go ahead and get back in the car and proceed. And how'd it go? Well, we got stopped. We did not get the green light, but we got through. How did we get through? Oh, well, we had invoices. <laughs> and they seemed to like that we had invoices. And we're back in Mexico. <laughs> Bienvenida a Mexico. Let's go find some tacos. <laughs> what about a margarita? I feel like we need a margarita after that Tacos. Process. <laughs> I'm really glad that all of our paperwork was in order. That was a big help because they did ask for the invoices for certain things. And I think it helped that we were able to speak enough Spanish to have a conversation and get by. The way we packed things, we put all of the expensive boat parts below all of our clothes and boxes so at first glance it looks like a lot of the boxes is just like sheets and old dirty clothes <laughs> are you explaining to youtube how to smuggle into mexico <laughs> oh i guess i can't use this footage but no i mean we really did what we were supposed to do we have all our invoices we're not importing anything to sell or to sell or anything right. so it's, it's not like we're really I mean, we didn't have any drugs, and we didn't have any humans. <laughs> there <laughs> there could we, be. we have about another hour and a half to one life. You excited? Hi. I'm very excited. We're almost home. You cried when we left. Are you gonna cry when we arrive? <laughs> Maybe. Depends what kind of shape the boat's in. <laughs> We're almost home. Ooh, there's Calico. There's Delos. I see a girl! 
There's a dumpster right out front. <laughs> Perfect. I've got the keys. We messaged the boatyard owner earlier today to see if he would get a ladder ready for us. And it's here, which is awesome. Very flat on this side. Is that a flat dinghy? Flat dinghy. She's so dirty. Wow. <laughs> All of those held up good. Are they even getting any solar? <laughs> oh man, they're filthy. Look at this! <gasps> it survived! It looks actually reasonably healthy. It looks better than <laughs> now than when we left. Key this is. Yeah. Woo! See what we've got down here. <laughs> How's it smell? It smells like a boat. <laughs> Our batteries are full. So that means the solar was working the whole time. Oh God, it smells. Thanks. It's good that solar is still working, so our batteries were taken care of the whole time. Looks just like we left her. A mess. A mess. <laughs> we're gonna have to do a punch list. Oof, a I don't even stuff. remember. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in here and I have no idea where to even begin. And we've got a car full of stuff too. It's not going in here anytime soon. <laughs> Some of it is going to have to. Well, we need it back We're after back. two months. Oh. It feels so good to be home. <laughs>